It's another beautiful Sunday afternoon. This is Robin Mines. Welcome. My name is Abu Kao and Thanks a lot for joining us. Another interesting week just went by. Um, the Supreme Court um, did what they do best again uh, with the Bayelsa State uh, governorship elections. A day to the inauguration of the APC candidate, the Supreme Court ruled that he was not uh, uh, freely and fairly elected, and the PDP candidate was sworn in the next day. So um, we also hear that the um, removed Imo State, uh, ex Imo State governor from the PDP, uh, Mekai Hedia, will be having his hearing at, at the Supreme Court. He's appealed the decision basically and I'm looking forward to seeing what decision comes from that as well. So much happening in the political space but um, we're going to be starting off today with something completely different, talking comedy, entertainment and um, I have a very, very, very special guest in the house. Before we get to her, just take a look at this. All right, I have you with <laughs> Trying to stay composed here. Tauma, how are you doing? I'm fine. Miriam Akpaokagi, did I, did I get that right? Yes, you did. How are you doing? Man? Fine, thank you. <laughs> you almost sort of came out of nowhere and took uh, the social media space by storm, especially in the last couple of months. I mean, you've probably been working, but yeah. the, the buzz suddenly became crazy in the last couple of months. When did this start? Um, I started 2015. Okay. Yeah. When I was in, when I was going into university. Okay. Yes. So. That was what was the motivation for you to go into skits? Was it fun? Did you think there was money to be made? No. Was it fame you were looking for? No, I didn't think. I I never thought of making skits. It wasn't in my plans. Although I, not like I really had plans like that, but it wasn't part of my plan until I met my boyfriend, Abla. Is a Nigerian music video director. Okay. So, I saw the things he's doing, and I was like. <laughs> Okay, can you teach me how to make uh, like birthday videos and stuff? And then he said, okay, that he's going to teach me more than that. So for him to be able to teach me, I had to like do some things, you know. You can't just put down the laptop and be teaching me. I have to like make some videos. And then he, come, he came up with the idea of, okay, why don't I start making skits? Because as, as at that time, he was also making skits. So I was like, okay, that what concept i don't even have i don't have any idea of what to do then he started giving me the concept of the mother and daughter stuff yeah so that that way i was learning editing and i was making skits although he's always giving me the concepts then because i never i didn't have the brain to think like okay what's the story going to be all about so that was how i started in 2015 yeah. and then when it came back to lagos i had to work on my own and go on youtube because it's not around to teach me a lot of yeah. things and I kept on with the skits, even though I feel like giving up at some point. <laughs> but I kept on with it. I like how you just dropped my boyfriend. There's some boys that were trying to had small hope. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been heartbroken now. But were you always funny? Was it? Did you think you were funny? What made you go down the funny route? Because you could do skits, and it doesn't have to be all comedy. Um, I didn't think I was funny. As, as a matter of as a matter of fact, I thought I was doing nonsense. So, but he's it it always the one that's telling me, just keep doing it. Because I, I don't find it funny when I do these things. Yeah. Although I know there are stories that are related to African parents and everybody can relate to it, but I don't really find it funny. So, I just do the skits. I don't even like watching myself when I do it. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I feel somehow when I watch myself, it's only maybe when I upload the skit and I want to watch, okay, is there any problem? Is there any mistake on it? Yeah. And when I find out that everything is fine, I just go offline. Yeah. And... So does he shoot for you still, or you, no. you shoot yourself now? Okay, now I shoot with the Grenade Company. He's the owner of the company, like, we are... So it's like a partnership? Yeah, not really a partnership, because I'm not really involved. He's the owner of it. Okay. So that's the company shoots for me now, because of the workload now. I have quite a, lot, a number of skits to shoot. So you just shoot and I edit. Yeah. What school, what school? Are you still in school? No, I'm still What seven. school were you at the time? Kwara State University. Kwara State University. How did it affect school? Uh, I tried. I tried as much as possible to stabilize everything. Like the two, I go home every weekends, like Fridays, and shoot as much as possible, and then go to school and edit it. And I try as much as possible to not let it affect school. Yeah. Yeah. My course isn't really something. What, is, what are you studying? Tourism or hospitality and events. Oh, oh, interesting. Yeah, so <laughs> I had enough time on my hand. You have a Namibian history. What is that about? Yeah, I traveled to Namibia with my mom in uh, 
I can't remember. I think when I was like 10 or 11. Okay. Yeah. You moved there? Yes. Okay. And then we came back to Nigeria and I went into university. Okay. So how long were you in Namibia for? I think five years. Oh, okay. Yeah. How did that affect any of this you're doing now? Because, I mean, it's not a very popular destination for a lot of Nigerians. Yes. And uh, did that affect you, your creativity in any way? No, it didn't. I, I started the skates after I came back from Namibia. So it really didn't, didn't really have any effect on it. Let's talk about these skates now. Because, okay, first of all, when did you get your first paycheck? for anything with regards to doing a skit or posting on social media? Uh, what year was this? I when think, you start getting paid? Okay, 2020, 2019, I think it was January, which was January, but I can't remember if it was 2018 or 2019. Yeah. It was January, I was going to use one guy's song in my skit. That was the first money you got paid. I got how paid. did you? How did it? How, how? Who thought to approach you? Was it a company or was it an individual? So just a, um, a musician. What's his name? B Bod Official. So okay. Yeah. So he paid you for like a promo for his single for his or something. Yeah. So when did the company start coming? In? <laughs> I I don't. I can't remember. They just started coming. I found out that okay, I'm now making adverts too. I'm making skits for people and you know advertising their products. Yeah. But they, it all started with songs and then gradually to the companies. Yeah. How, how are you able to do this, though? Because it, you find people who do skits on social media, um, most times they do what they want and they get approached. So maybe you post a few of your personal stuff and then you post a lot of the company stuff. But you seem to have so much demand. There's a lot of demand for you, or at least a lot of posts from you seem to be sponsored, you yeah. know, by several brands and companies, and you still manage to keep it engaging. How, how easy is that? Because if it's something you just want to throw out and do on your own, it's easy, I want to believe. Yeah. But when you have to tie something to a brand and still get people to watch, you know, how do you come up with those? I, <laughs> I don't know how, how to explain that. I, because I get a lot of people saying, okay, I do adverts and I make it look so natural as possible. I don't know how, because it's like, I write down the stories and when I get the stories and you bring an advert, yeah. I just go through my stories and see the ones that can go with the advert. Yeah. So, and I do, I just shoot. I don't know how, how it is that everybody likes even the advert. Yeah. Then, than the skits sometimes. On an average, now, because you say you have a lot of skits waiting, on an average day, how many skits do you shoot? Now, because I like shooting, and then I can shoot as much as possible, like five or even seven, and then I'll go, I'll, I'll know that, okay, the only thing that is remaining is editing okay. and uploading. So I shoot as much as possible, five, sometimes three, sometimes five, sometimes six. I don't think I've ever shot seven. Yeah. What's, what's the demand like for you now? So right now, sitting here right now, how many jobs are waiting for you to shoot? Just off the top of your head. Ah, I think just three. Okay. Is yeah. that normal or is it usually more than that? It's normal. Yeah, it is normal. Interesting. That's very, very busy. Are there brands you won't work with? Are there certain brands you probably would not want to represent? or? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like... Uh, what's it called? Is it Afro Afrodisiacs or some okay. sexually related? Anything brand. sexually related? Yeah, okay. I I would not really want to. Is that a personal religious or is that? No, it's not? it's not religious. It's not. I just feel as um, my skits. It's based on African parents, and so how do I want to advertise? Because I cannot go um, out of the African parent. Re I can go out, but I don't want to really divert from it. So if I have to now advertise maybe um, sexually, all this agbo something, yeah. and how do I tell? Is it my mom that will be telling me, <laughs> or my daughter will be telling my mom, or yeah. something? So that's why I, I don't really find my way around it. That's why I don't take it. Before you came into the social media skit space, there were a lot of people who were doing it, and it's saturated now. There's a lot of people who are still doing it. Yeah. Are there people who you saw at the time who you liked or who you sort of looked up to that in sort of influence sort of what, what you do? Uh, 
Yes, apart from the fact that I was just trying to be myself and be on my own, I was still looking at some people and be like, okay, and not like get ideas from them, but get motivated from them. Because as I said, I felt like giving up at some time and then my boyfriend would keep talking to me and all that. But then with that, it's not around me, it's not, it just talks on the phone. So I yeah. try to watch people's skits and feel like, okay, this person is doing it. Like, Who are some of these people? Do it. Someone like Maraji, someone like Twice, someone like, um, who else? I think those just two were just yeah. two major people that I check out. And yeah, I see Maraji skits everywhere, so I even I don't even need to go to her page to, to get go and watch it. Or... Yeah, I just. Are you friends with her? Are you? Have you ever met her? Are you guys friendly? Uh, no, I haven't met her, but I think we just chatted like once or twice. Yeah, I think that because there seems to be a constant like every other week on Twitter, Tauma yeah. and Maraji are trending. Who is better? Who is? Do you see things like that? And what do you think about it? I do see things like that, and I just try to ignore because. Sometimes I feel like replying, but I just feel, how many people do I want to talk to and be like, people are just, people are unique in their own ways. Just because I came out doesn't mean she's not, she's not doing well again or something. But then I just try to ignore because I see some people trying to just make me talk and then they come back to me and yeah. like give me a backlash and I don't really want <laughs> Where that. Where you now end up talking, yeah? Exactly. So I just keep quiet and I just... Overlook. Would you do something with her? I would if I have a chance. Would you approach her if you if you could? Um, I feel <laughs> okay. I I said I chatted with her once. I don't. She didn't really give me that opportunity, the open so and okay. to like get closer to her. So, but I would. I would really love to. If, if, if you get the opportunity. Yeah. How's your family taking this? Because I mean, it's for a, for a lot of parents. How do you explain what you do and how do they? accepts that this is what you're doing okay my mom knows what I, what i'm doing from start from start and she was like as long as it doesn't get away in your school blah 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 i don't have any problem with it so i was in the lorry so when it was time for me to come to lagos like i was i think getting adverts then and i i needed to start shooting more quality videos and i went to start like mom i want to go to lagos and she said no 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 you cannot <laughs> go to lagos blah, blah, blah. that i should go and tell my dad Feeling okay, I'll get to my dad's place and. And you say no. No. So I got there and I don't know how to explain to him that. Okay, daddy, this is what I'm doing. I have to show him my videos and all that. And I was like, okay. I was surprised the way he said, okay, like I can travel to Lagos. And he was very okay with that. And he was very okay with that. When I got home, my mom, <laughs> my mom felt <laughs> a little. It was like, so your daddy said you can go to Lagos. <laughs> I said yes. He said okay. So. You left to go and tell your daddy. <laughs> and I told you, why can't you just believe in me? And I said, Mom, I told you I want to travel to Lagos, but you're telling me no. And I went to tell my dad. And now he said yes, and you're feeling. So they like what I do. My mom even gives me ideas, ideas. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> she likes what I do now, although she didn't like it at first. Yeah. She thought it was wasting of time as she call it. But the money is coming now, so I you understand that it's, <laughs> it's a job at least. It, yes. Are you are you gonna do mainstream movies? Is that part of the plan? Yes, that's part of the plan. In nearest future. Okay. I'm planning to shoot with my own the grenade company. Okay. Yes. Have you been approached by anybody yet to, to in Nollywood? In Nollywood, yes, a few. I've been but you approached. haven't taken them up yet. Um, not yet. Like, it's not as if I haven't taken them up, but it's not your time for... Okay. Yeah, it's just like a pre telling me so that when it's time, I'll just okay. come Okay, so over. it's something you're definitely going to do? Yes. Yoruba movies, English movies, or regardless? I feel I want to go for English. Okay. Yeah. Because you do a lot of skits in Yoruba, but you, I know you mix it a little, but yeah. you do a lot of Yoruba skits. I feel I want to go into English movies. Would it be comedy or drama? <laughs> I think I can do <laughs> comedy more. Yeah, so I would like to do more of comedy. Yeah. So what's what's going on? What's happening in 2020? I mean, the year is kind of just starting. What are your plans for the year with regards to your career? Uh, my plan is just to, like, continue making skits for now and keep, like, consistency for now. And then, because I'm planning to make movies and maybe during this 2020, I can start brainstorming on movie yeah. concerts and all that so that... 
come next year, I can, I can go into making movies. Full time. Great yeah. stuff. Just, just to track back a little, because in a lot of your skits, there's always a lot of slapping and, and people have said, oh, this, you're, you're sort of promoting child abuse, you know? Yes, I get that a lot. Tao's mom <laughs> always ends up giving her a dirty slap and you're like, this is sort of encouraging, you know, hitting children and spanking, which is, what do you have to say about that? So there are two different Tao's mom. There's Yatao and there's my mom. <laughs> like my own personal mom. Yeah. My mom always, when she watched my skates, she would be like, which day did I do this? And she's asking me, why did you have to slap her? Blah, blah, blah. And I keep telling people that this slap is like a signature for me. When I started trying the slap, I, I realized people are like loving it. So I started adding it to all my skits as a signature. Because anyone sees me now, tao, 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 and be like, let me slap you, let me, all those things And you are, see the points about the child abuse The point? child, I see it. But then I try to let them know that this slap is exaggerated for the skit. It is not real. It is not true. Yeah. It's just exaggerated. There are so many things that tao will do in the skit, and it doesn't even warrant a slap. It doesn't, no mother is going to slap it. But just because it's a signature, I just want That's to add it. it. All right, thank you very much. Looking forward to many more skits on your page. You are doing absolutely amazing. Thank and you. all the best with you and your colleagues and everything thank that you guys you. do.